When trying to maintain my own mental health, I often find myself turning back to journaling. It is proven to assist in managing mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. Through journaling, a person can release their emotions that may have otherwise stayed bottled or restricted. A journal can act as an object to aim rants, worries, or general negative emotions at. However, it can also be a place to reflect on confusing thoughts, circumstances, or events, or even happy times. One of the psychs I've seen in the past explained it quite well, I feel. Much like how someone usually talks about whatever is most pressing to them at the start of a therapy session, it often works similarly, if not the same, when journaling. For some people, it may be that they express these difficult concepts through art or music. Our minds work in amazing ways, and usually a key part in that work is to relieve stress and expel negativity in whatever way possible. Sometimes, we expel negativity in unhealthy ways, such as fits of violence or compulsive acts. Journaling can funnel those unhealthy coping mechanisms into something more helpful. Instead of letting your thoughts bounce around in your head when you're trying to get some sleep, maybe try journaling, even just for a few minutes. But, I hear you asking, how the heck do I journal? Where do I even start? So, you're staring at a blank page with your pen in hand or your keyboard at the ready. Some people prefer to keep a digital journal. And you're staring. And you're staring. And you're staring. Nothing. Your brain is blank. What now? This is where I've found two separate journaling strategies can help. Stream of consciousness and prompts. The first one Stream of consciousness is basically a fancy way of saying, get your butt in the chair and write already. Write whatever comes to your mind, even if it's something silly sounding, like, I don't know what to write. Sometimes even just getting words on a page can help spark a writing session. But how about when that doesn't cut it? Sometimes your page is as blank as your mind seems to be. That is when I turn to journaling prompts. Much like any other prompt, this is meant to introduce an idea and get you started. Where you take the writing session from there, of course, is up to you. What do these writing prompts look like? Some that I've used have been, what are three personal beliefs that you'd like to further explore and why? What are three ordinary things that bring you joy? And what is the worst emotion or feeling you have right now? What is one thing you can do to improve it? Sometimes a journal prompt can be as simple as describe your day up to this point. As well, the words that you use when journaling can say a lot about your mental health. When in a low mood, a person is more inclined to use more negative phrasing or words that have connotations that match with their mood or frame of mind. This can be hard to notice when you're in the thick of it, but journaling really does provide a good insight into how someone feels in a really simple, raw kind of way. Even if you aren't in a mental health crisis, journaling is still a great way to explore ideas or concepts that you're trying to find out more about. I've used journaling just as a way to get ideas down, or excitedly ramble about something that I'm really excited about, or noting progress in a goal that I'm working towards. Looking back on journal entries is a great way to gauge or track your mental health, too. Sometimes, that's how I realize that my mental health is changing. I notice that I'm relating to the thoughts I wrote in a previous entry, whether negative or positive. Journaling is a great way to help track your mental health and provide a safe place to explore ideas, as you never need to share with anyone unless you want to. So try it out. It might help. And if you're a stationary lover like me, it helps give you an excuse to engage in a hobby that you enjoy. If you have any other topics about LGBTQIA plus or mental health stuff that you'd like me to cover, let me know down in the comments. As always, resources are in the description. Thanks for watching the OCD MB. Stay safe out there.